good morning students welcome to e subidya hope you all are fine and safe students in the previous class we have completed the lesson tips from the wise old man today i am summing up the theme of the chapter and we'll discuss some activities students as we know the konark temple is not only the glory of odisha but also it is the glory of india so students several legends are associated with the konark temple two prominent personalities associated with the konark temple were dhamavat and sibai samantrai sibai samantrai was associated with starting of the konark temple and dharmapat was associated with the ending of the konark temple most people knew about the role of a dharmapat in the completion of the konark temple but few people knew about the role of a sibai samantrai and also very few people knew about the old woman whose wise tips helped sibai samantrai to lay the foundation stone of the konark temple students aaj we have discussed in the previous class sibai samantrai was the minister of langula narasimha dev or king narasimha dev first and he was in charge of laying the foundation of the konark temple near the chandrabhaga sea show so whatever stones he dumped into the sea were washed away by the wild currents so in a distressed state of mind he was returning from kakatpur after worshiping gades mangala aaj we have discussed in the pre previous class gades mangala it's one of the prominent uh, gades mangala temple it's one of the prominent shakti pithas of odisha and it is located just in the bank of the river prachi so sibai samantrai was returning from the mangala temple after worshiping gades mangala so it was night time and he was terribly hungry so he started searching uh, for any habitation habitation means place of a dwelling but there was no habitation nearby so he saw flickering light is coming from near a hut so he is near the hut with the hope of getting some food so when he reached near that hut he saw an old woman bent with the edge cooking something so he called the old woman as mousi or aunt and he requested the old woman for some food and the old woman welcomed sibai to his small hut and offered a tattered mat a rag mat to sit so he offered rice porridge porridge means a type of a semi liquid food prepared with rice milk etc so he offered hot rice porridge simple hot rice porridge to sibai samantrai so sibai samantrai was terribly hungry so he straight put his hand to the center of the plate to the middle of the plate in order to take a handful of a porridge but he sprang out his hand because of excessive hot because of excessive hot because steam was coming out from this rice porridge so because of excessive hunger he put his hand directly to the center of the plate to the middle of the plate in order to catch a handful of ice rice porridge but he sprang out his hand in pain and started blowing his hand started blowing hindi blowing his hand to cool down so the old man was quite shocked the manner in which sibe uh, sorry the manner in which that man was trying to take the porridge and he told my son you are trying to take the rice porridge in the same manner our wise minister sibe samantrai is trying to lay the foundation of the konark temple 
instead of starting from the side he is dumping the stones or the rocks into the deep sea which were ultimately washed away by the wild currents and you are behaving in the same manner while taking the rice porridge instead of eating from the side you are trying to take the porridge from the middle of the plate so our wise minister Sivay Samantrai is also doing the same thing while trying to lay the foundation stone of the Konak temple so these words of the old man put a great impact in the mind of the wise minister instead of revealing his identity he hurried back he hurried back he returned back and started laying the foundation stone of the konak temple and started laying the foundation of a konak temple so the work which he could not complete for last six months was completed within six days and the wise tips of the old man helped Sivay Samantrai to lay the foundation stone of the Konak temple. So on that, that, on that day, that illiterate old man's wise tips helped the, helped the minister, helped the minister, helped Sivay Samantrai to lay the foundation stone or to lay the foundation of the Konak temple. And people believed that Goddess Mangala, to whom Sibai went to worship, appeared in the guise of the old man in order to give timely tips, in order to give timely advice to the minister to lay the foundation of the Konak temple. So students, this is about the tips from the wise old man, tips from the wise old man that helped Sibai Samantrai to lay the foundation of the Sun Temple or the lay the foundation of the Konak Temple. So this is the theme of the lesson tips from the wise old man. So students let's discuss some activities. Students today we'll discuss about narration from direct to indirect speech. 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 Students, <coughs> let's know what is a narration students narration is the act of reporting the words of a speaker narration is the act of reporting the words of a speaker so students there are two ways of reporting the speech of a person as we have discussed narration is the act of reporting the words of a speaker and there are two ways there are two ways of reporting the speech of a person. First one is direct speech. Direct speech or direct narration. And the second one is indirect speech or indirect narration. So before discussing about direct speech and indirect speech, let's look at the following examples. Students, it is the most important part of the English grammar. So you be attentive. So let's look at the following examples. Mohan said, Mohan said, I am studying. Mohan said, I am studying. Another sentence or another example, sorry, another example. Madhu said, 
I am wearing I am wearing white skirt I am wearing white skirt Okay Mohan said I am studying Madhu said I am wearing white skirt Students you see here here I am studying Mohan said I am studying you see here I am studying is the actual word of the speaker Aaj quoted it is the actual word of the speaker remain within quotation mark so students this portion or this part is called reported speech reported speech and said here is reporting verb said is the reporting verb and i am studying is the reported speech here in the same way madhu said i am wearing white skirt here said is the reporting verb and i am wearing white skirt is the reported speech is the reported speech so students what is direct speech and both the examples remain in the direct speech both the examples here remain in the direct speech so now students let's see what is direct speech the actual word of the speaker are quoted as it is in the direct speech what happen the actual words of the speaker are quoted as it is you see here students i am studying is the actual words spoken by the speaker mohan okay speaker mohan so the actual word of the speaker are quoted as it is so i am studying and what happen the exact word of the speaker remain within inverted commas so students in the direct speech what happen the exact words of the speaker remain within the inverted commas and next important thing in the direct speech you must have marked that the reporting verb is separated from the reported speech by a comma the you see the reporting verb is said and here i am studying is the reported speech in the second example the reporting verb which is said and i am wearing white skirt it's a reported speech so you see the reporting verb is separated from the reported speech by a comma or a comma is separating reported speech and the reporting verb and the reported speech remain with the inverted commas reported speech remain within the inverted commas another thing you mark the first word of the reported speech the first word of the reported speech starts with a capital letter the first word of the reported speech starts with a capital letter you see in the reported speech the first word is starting with a capital letter so students this is about the direct speech so what is direct speech the actual in case of the direct speech the actual words of the speaker are quoted as it is or the exact words of the speaker remain within the what inverted commas and a comma separates the reporting verb and the reported speech and you can see that what the reported speech starts with a capital letter the first word of the reported speech starts with a capital letter so let's convert it into an indirect speech mohan said i am studying mohan said that mohan said that he was studying mohan said that he was studying students you see mohan said that we have converted this into the indirect speech 
or let's convert this into indirect speech madhu said i am wearing white skirt madhu said that the answer will be madhu said that madhu said that she was wearing wearing white skirt madhu said that she was wearing white skirt you see in the indirect speech what happened students only the substances of the speaker words speaker's word are given the exact words of the speaker the exact speak of the speech of the speaker are not quoted only the substances of the speaker's word are given or the only the substances of the speaker's word are given or the speaker's words are transformed here mohan said i am studying when we are converting this into indirect speech it become mohan said that he was studying okay mohan said that he was studying and madhu said i am wearing white skirt when we converted into indirect speech it becomes madhu said that she was wearing white skirt students you see in the indirect speech whenever we are converting the direct speech in the into indirect speech first we remove the inverted commas students the inverted commas are removed here mohan said that he was studying so you see the inverted commas are removed second important thing the comma separating the reported speech and the reporting verb which also removed first the inverted commas are removed second the comma separating the reporting verb and the reported speech is also removed third a conjunction that introduces the reported speech here you see a conjunction is used in order to introduce the reported speech so the reported speech is introduced with a conjunction here that is used here also that is used next students you see change of a tense change of a tense students you see here the present tense change into past tense okay so there are some rules and regulations uh, how the tense will change we'll discuss in the next class so the next one is the change of a tense and you see students that change of a pronoun here first person pronoun is changed into the third person pronoun students you see here that change of a pronoun is also taking place here i is also changed into he here mohan said that he was studying i is changed into he and you see here madhu said that i am wearing white skirt i is changed to she so here students you see as madhu is feminine we use she as mohan is masculine we used he okay so next change is of a pronoun then last one is all other punctuations were abolished all other punctuations are removed only we use full stop okay all other punctuation other than full stop is removed okay so only we use the full stop and all other punctuations like the quotation marks uh, all other punctuations are completely removed so this is about direct speech and indirect speech students in the next class will discuss about narration from direct to indirect speech in detail thank you have a nice day see you in the next class